Hey, hey, hey! Day number four! Right? Yeah, four. four. Yep. Yep. October 4th. October 4th. Third day on the chair. Third day on the chair. Hopefully you guys got to see the last couple of days we working on the chair. Um, this was a piece of work that we got from a thrift store for four bucks. If you haven't watched it, please go back and watch the, a couple episodes before so you can see what a train wreck this thing was. Mm -hmm. But first of all, my name is Kristen. This is my handsome hubby Lance. And uh, together we are designs by K&L. So we refurnish furniture or what did we say yesterday? We're furniture artists, maybe? Furniture design artists. Yeah. yeah something like that. Yeah. Yeah. Something fancy, <clears throat> I'm sure. <laughs> Whatever. And um, and we like making home decor. So that's a little bit about what we do. Tonight we are going to, um, like he said, we're day three on the chair. And we drew inspiration for this chair since it is Halloween. And I'm a Disney fan. Um, so it's kind of like a haunted mansion chair. So we're doing purple and black. The purple that we used is the Dixie Bell. Uh, if you can see that, uh, amethyst. Woo! Ooh. There we go. Amethyst. amethyst. It's really pretty. Really yeah. pretty purple. And then um, the black that we're going to use tonight is the Dixie Bell caviar. <clears throat> so, and it's just their black, black. Um, hey, let us, let us know if you can hear us okay. How is the lighting and everything so we can make some adjustments for you, okay? Right on. Right on, right on. Um, we would appreciate it if you if you guys would like and share for us. And I don't really know yes. lingo for that. But um, Where do they sell Dixie Bell? They're, um, if you've ever been to Irondale Pickers, there is a booth up there, and the lady who um, sells uh, Dixie Bell is actually out of Moody. Um, so I'm working with her right now to get her direct um, info or whatever so I can send y'all to her. Um, but if you just want to order it online, you can go to DixieBell.com and get the stuff from there. Yeah, they have a lot of information on their website. You can see all, a lot of the colors, and mm -hmm. they talk a lot about some of the other products that they have. Yes, yes, yes. Thanks, Laurie. Um, I was going to say something. I forgot what I was going to say. I was about to say something. Oh, 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 oh. So, um, we decided last night, since um, we're getting some traction on here, if you um, watch our, any of our videos and you like and share the video, then at the end of the month, we're going to put all the names into a um, pot and then um, draw for... Put it in a hat. We can put it in a hat. <laughs> well, you can put it in whatever. We don't... A pot? A pot. A pot. Well, you don't wear hats. We don't have any hats. We'll have to use my hat. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Anyways... We'll put a bunch of names of y'all, um, if y'all like and share, into a pot, hat, whatever we find, the dog's bowl. I mean, you know. And we'll draw a name and give away um, a door hanger or either a um, porch sign. We haven't made up our mind yet. Um, but maybe we'll let y'all choose. We so, shall see. so they can see those on the Etsy. Some, I mean, some of the ones that we have. Yeah, so that yeah, we, we have already for have sale, but um, we'll choose door hangers door on hangers there, but we don't have any of the porch signs on there yet. So, um, anyways, are you ready? Let's do it. Shake and bake, babe. Shake and bake. <laughs> you ready? Yes. <laughs> okay. So, so last night we did the um, the base coat, and I really just did that to get a feel of um, the furniture and make sure that this was definitely. Um, the color that we wanted and we were very mm -hmm. pleased with it this purple is only one coat of the dixie bell which to me is um pretty amazing um the the coverage with dixie bell is is great it's um one of the better ones that uh better paints that we've used so um tonight we're going to do a little blending and i will say this so um a lot of people use wax 
And I'm, I'm a fan of wax. I use a lot of wax, um, too, or gilding waxes and, and that sort of stuff. But I kind of, in my mind, was going back to, like, really old school, thinking um, I, I want this to kind of to look kind of old, but, I mean, it, it, I really want it to be the whole, like, haunted, like, um, oh, my gosh, pop type. Thing. Is that even a definition? I, it is now. I, I mean, whatever. I you want um, it to look kind of old, but kind of new. I can't ever get what's in here out of here sometimes. Oh, can you imagine? It's got to come out of there <laughs> and go in here. And I, gotta, that have, like, I don't know. I can't do that. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> I know what I want, but sometimes I can't get it out in, in words. So I'm working on that. But, um, so what I thought in my mind was, like, this was just going to have, like, some drippy black and just kind of be, like, have grunge. So little... we have no idea what we're doing right now. Would you hush? I know. It's up here. It's up here. I'm going to show. So I want it to be, you know, kind of grungy in the corners and um, just, uh, I don't know, just look really cool but instead of using the wax I wanted to, to do it old school with with just paint um, so instead of using wax in the corners and everything I was going to use the black and kind of blend the purple and black together um, old school way yeah now I'm looking on the camera and I see that the purple is kind of dark the black is really dark so you may have a little hard time seeing what she's going to be doing now so we may brighten it up a little bit and bring it a little closer so you guys can see what we're doing here because it's a really cool trick yeah okay so um first of all well i guess we can kind of show them what i was doing there so don't... see i can't really see that at all so okay just watch that paint you see okay oh yeah yeah you can see it a can little bit can you see it a little yeah. bit I mean, I don't want it much, but I just want it to, um, to almost like kind of fade in to the purple, but also have that look of just like it's not really dripped, but like it's just over time, it's just the black has weathered off or whatever. Kind of run down a little bit. I hope you can see that. Uh, once we get it completely done, we'll do pictures and everything, and you'll definitely be able to see the um, final technique, but I did want to go ahead and show y'all how I do that. I'm going to see if I can brighten it up a little bit. Okay. So, um, and honestly, with this technique, uh, when I when I do a little bit of blending, I don't always change uh, brushes from one brush to another because um, I really li I, I like it to, you know, kind of get in there and, and blend. So, I, I usually just use one brush um, to um, kind of blend and match. However... I like this brush tonight, which is just a uh, cheap Walmart brush. But I also need something like the Dixie Bell brush to get in, in some of the grooves and everything. So, first of all, I'm going to get a little black. Actually, I'm going to get some of this off my lid. <clears throat> I think I need to pull it down a little bit. Okay. He may mess with the cameras just a little bit so you can see. Oh, yeah. I think that's a little bit better. Is that better? Oh, I chopped your head off. Well, that's fine. They don't okay, have to see that? me. They just need to see. I they just need to see me. <laughs> they just need to I see I know I'm me. short, but I can probably get down like this. There you go. Are you posing, babe? Go ahead. Okay. So, um, so I got a little bit of black on there, and then I'm just going to get in these creases. I'm just slapping it on, really. So, just get it kind of on there, and I want it to, um, I'm going to go ahead and get a little Maybe purple. A little you got it? Smirk. So then I, I got some purple. Oh yeah, that's pretty good. So I can blend the two. So now I've got wet black up here, wet purple down here, and I'm just gonna kind of drag up a little bit and then drag down. But barely, almost like a feather. You're just kind of almost uh, dry brushing it a little bit. So you don't <laughs> want the. Um... This technique can be overdone just like that. Mm -hmm. You have to really kind of. Do it once or twice and be done with it. Mm -hmm. uh, if you keep messing with it, all you're going to do is muddy it up a little bit. Yeah. yeah so. I want to get the 
the top too because there's um, creases up here. Does anybody have any questions? Sometimes I, I haven't trained myself to talk much while I'm actually working, so I might have to. But I think that's good on that. But I'm just getting, just getting the black, like we said, and I'm sticking it in these little creases where I want it to kind of have that aged look. And then I'm going to be coming right back with the purple to blend it. It's going to keep the black into the creases. And then anything that is any of the black that's not in the crease, it's going to kind of fade so like it's um, drippy drip. Can you see that better? Uh, it's hard. It's, it's so hard to see. I'm so sorry. So we talked about some of the brushes that we used. You know, I gotta tell you something about brushes. It's like, it's a feel thing. Some are smooth, some are soft, some are hard. You just kinda have to work with it a little bit. It's a thing that's gonna be an experience thing. A technique, you just have to work with a few of them. And I, I'll tell you one thing, you're gonna know immediately if it works or not. So we have um, found brushes from Michaels and Hobby Lobby, even uh, Lowe's, some places like that, and even order some offline and Dixie Bell brushes. Some of them are really old, and some of the ones that are um, are older that have been worn in are are awesome to use because they kind of got some wear to them and they work better. It's just one of those things you just kind of have to work with. Yeah, and depending on the technique, too, um, you'll learn what brushes you like to use for different things. The reason why I chose this one is because I can do it with a softer hand um, and, and do a little feathered um, style. So, I'm wanting to get up here, too, in these. Oh, hang on. Let me get you a little closer. Sorry, oh. guys. Let me raise it up just a little bit. Man, I hate that you can't see it that great. Yeah, let me see if I can mess with the color spectrum a little bit. I think it, can y'all see okay? I mean, I know it's not the best, but. I guess as long as. The colors are too close together, you probably can't see. It's gorgeous though. Yeah, once we take pictures, you'll be able to see, but basically you're just getting that black paint into where you want it to have that um, dirty grunge look, I guess. If, is that a word? Dirty grunge? I kind of like it. Dirty grunge. Hey, baby. I, get some... I love that purple so much. I do too. <clears throat> it's such a gorgeous color. You know, after it dried, it completely changed the color. You can see blue in it sometimes. And I'm a color guy. I've been doing paint and colors for a long time. I actually work for a, a screen printing company that sells screen printing inks and we make our own colors. And so I can see colors inside of colors. And this is, it's a really red color and sometimes it has blues in it. It's, um, it, it depends on the color spectrum with lighting, how colors look. If I can show you, I want to show you this. You see how purple it is? Watch this. I'm going to change the color spectrum and watch it turn blue. Is it more blue now? More purple? Yeah. Uh, whatever. I don't have his eye like most people do. Or you're actually not normal. I have a normal eye where I don't always see those <laughs> colors like you see. Well, the, when I first painted the studio, I painted the wall, I wanted a gray color. I painted the wall gray. Down here. As soon as I came back, it looked blue to me. And I didn't want it to be blue, so I had to repaint it. 
I didn't like the way it looked. So we're just getting that black, just and get a good bit on there because you want it to be enough to blend. And then you're, so you got the, the black on there. Get some purple on there, real good. And then just kind of go up and then come down. And like he said, you just barely do it. If you if you overwork it, it's going to be like a real muddy. Sorry. <laughs> it's going to be really muddy. Um, but uh, if you just... If you barely work with it, let it dry. You can, if you don't like it, you can always come back when it's dry. So, um, if you if you if you know that you're starting to uh, get a little bit muddy, just leave it alone. You can come back. You can paint the whole thing back over your base color, and you can start again. Hey, it's only paint. Yeah. So I want in the corners over here too. I'll hey, die. Brittany. Hey, Jeremy. Hey, um, we did say, and I don't see, it's so weird because it only shows that one person is watching, but then down here it shows that there's several people watching. So, yeah. um, y'all comment every once in a while so we know we're, you're still there, but. We um, don't know if we're getting a good signal down here. So, she, um, we want to make sure that we're getting uh, out to y'all. <laughs> yeah, Brittany. So, um, Brittany, so we were telling everybody if, if you watch, um, watching our Facebook lives and then you turn around and share our Facebook lives to your page once I've done my deal and, and posted them up on my page, um, how about this? How about, okay, so we want you to share to your page, but however many videos you share to your page is how many of your names that we're going to put into a pot and at the end of the month we're going to draw from that pot and um, give you either a free door hanger or a free uh, porch sign. We haven't made up our mind yet. We may let y'all choose but so um, and that's just to help get our name out there and get more people watching us. So um, you know the thing the thing with painting like this and just having fun we enjoy it so much and you know you kind of lose yourself in painting like this I, I don't know that i can explain it but before you know it 45 minutes has gone by an hour hour and a half has gone by <laughs> that doesn't even matter about the chair the chair was four bucks and we can just we can keep, keep painting over and over and over again and it doesn't really matter I told her a while ago, she was asking about some of the, the, the paint on here. I was like, it's your chair. You can do with it what you want to. If you don't like it, just paint over it. Not mm -hmm. a big deal. Yeah. So now I'm going to get my, my chip brush just because my other brush is kind of getting a little too much on there. And I'm just going to kind of feather it. Oh, yeah, Santa, I like that. That's good. See, the chip brush is dry. And it's just dragging down some of that black paint on there, and it really looks nice. Yeah, I like that. Yeah, that turned out that turned out really good. Yeah, um, and don't just stop messing with it and just leave it alone. I will cut you. I'm not gonna mess with you anymore. But I keep seeing little things. Okay, so I'm gonna go up here now a little bit. What are you doing? What happened? I'm just gonna go up here. Because I want to get some of that black up there. Do we need to bring this closer? I don't know. Can we? I'm sure we're going to unplug something. Oh, maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe not. No, maybe not. How about that? How about that? Can they still see me okay? What's everybody doing on a Friday? I mean, obviously we um, have a few of y'all, so... We're actually eating a steak dinner and having <laughs> a baked potato right now. Yeah. So, this is my, I see. <laughs> see? I oh, know. She gets yeah. it. Nice. <laughs> she gets it. Hey, and I did not know this, but I just Googled by any chance 
to see if they had haunted uh, mansion fabric and I found some. Now I'm not 100% sure that I'm going to put it on this chair, but I think I'm going to order it just to see. It was a little too much purple for me and I'm, I'm wanting a little bit maybe more black and or even white for my um, cushion, but we white. shall see. Well, I mean, like, not like white, white, but like, you know, a little white in furry it. White. To... <laughs> like furry white? Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> yeah, it's nice, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> get that away. If I get purple on that, I'm not going to be happy. Well, it did look like this. <laughs> yeah, we don't want it to look like that. So what are you going to do, like, can y'all see those details? You may not can see it. Is there some, some carved in places in the center that looks really awesome? So mm -hmm. are you, are you going to do something different in those places? Now, I really just want to keep them um, kind of grungy because when we go back and clear coat it, and man, I hate that you can't see it that oh, well. I, I, you can see it okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, Laura says, she, Laura says she's making pumpkins. Oh, we need some of your pumpkins <laughs> over here. Yeah. She does crochet. Nice. Little crochet pumpkin. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So cute. Cool. So cute. Um, Send us some pics. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so when we um, when we go and do the clear coat or gator hide or whatever we decide to put on this, it's, um, it's going to have a little bit of a sheen to it. So it's really going to make the black pop. And then, well, it's also going to make the purple pop, but um, I don't want to overdo it. So I don't want to sit here and, like, slap a bunch of black in all kinds of places because it's just not going to look right. Yeah. No, we're not, Brittany. I'm sorry. Yeah, we, we thought about it, but it's just, it's just so much work for us, what we have going on now. We're just too busy, and um, we decided not to do it. Yeah. I mean, we have tons of pieces, if you know anybody. I mean, we should just, like, set up on the side of the road one day. Yes. Like, just get rid of it. But, um... Okay, so she just said something about finishing the chair, like, with gator hide. I hope I'm you not know, in y'all's face. No, you're fine. Um, the paint that we had chosen tonight, Dixie Bell Paint Company, does not require you to put a finish coat on it. At this stage, it look it has a matte finish to it, which I kind of like. But some pieces, um, you can add, uh, <laughs> I didn't think it was gonna do it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, baby. Like you were like that. Hmm? It is kind of cool, huh? Whenever... Can, yeah, that can't say it. Huh? We can't see it because the stuff is in the way, but... I like it. See? Okay. What was I saying? I don't know. Sorry. <laughs> you want some purple on your your black? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so um, there are many different things you can do to put over it to protect your chair. And um, we... we <laughs> I never knew anything other than after you get through painting something, you need to put a clear coat on it. And let me tell you something. This stuff right here has been the best stuff I had ever. Ah, oh, we're hey, back. Hey, we're I'm back. So sorry. 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 I don't know. Yeah, we're back. I'm so sorry. The boys up there playing music or something. I don't know. Yeah. All right. So anyway, polycrylic. This is a fantastic clear coat. I've used it for years and years and years. I love it. Love it. Love it. And I do have a couple of different sheens to it. I know I'm sorry it's backwards. If you read it, this one is clear satin. My favorite. There is some furniture pieces that we use that we use the gloss mm -hmm. um, that we like to. There are other clear coats that you can use and polishes. Waxes. I love the the finish on waxes on a piece like this would be awesome because it kind of leaves a matte finish to it. Now, um, Dixie Bell also has gator hide. 
this is a um, it repels water so if you're gonna have like a piece of furniture that you're gonna have drinks sitting on top of this is perfect because it won't ruin your paint uh, you know what though I, I didn't think that I was gonna like anything other than polycrylic uh, and, and until I met this stuff can you see it you can't see it and you can use that on um, outdoor furniture too um, I think I can see it here. go ahead so um, especially if um, gator hide if you want to do something like to a kitchen table or whatever the gator hide is the best way to go because it will um, it's waterproof so I mean you can do whatever to it you can wash it and no problem yep gator hide actually uh, plies a little bit different and you think it because it's so small that it's not going to last a long time as far as like how much is in here but um, it really goes far and it's, it's worth the money for this one and so there's another one we hadn't tried this one yet we have a from Dixie Bell paint company a clear coat satin we hadn't used it yet but uh -huh. um, interested in seeing how this is going to work and uh, she may wind up using it on this piece I don't know uh -huh. um, it's really nice okay so what's going on so I think I got it in most of the spots that I want it um, I'll do the back and everything without having y'all sit there and, and watch me do it um, and then I'll obviously post pictures but the biggest thing is you just get it where you want it to go and then just feather it out dry brush style um, and then I mean I mean that's pretty much it is so simple guys and look you don't overthink it and don't worry about it. Um, when you're painting just, just do what you like if you don't like it it's just paint and it took me a while to realize that because I would get so frustrated but <laughs> <laughs> but it's just paint we can always go back and and fix it and repaint it or, or I got a piece in there that I completely done put gold a leaf on it and everything and hate it so now it's um, getting repainted it turned out okay it's just not what i was wanting so we're redoing it so lesson is it's just paint yeah if you don't want to do your furniture pick up a piece of furniture at a, at a flea market or yard sale and look don't spend a whole lot of money on brushes mm. paint's kind of a different story i mean you can get the lowe's uh valspar chalk paint there's any sloan paints there's uh walmart has a waverly brand chalk paint that's really good yeah just you know, try just, it out. just have some fun with it. It's not a big deal. Yeah. Uh, I mean, if you ever were to get into the furniture painting business, then we can talk more about the different brushes and everything and how wonderful they are. I mean, obviously, you want really good brushes if you're going to do this for a while. But if you're just wanting to try to just do one piece of furniture just to see how it does, just go get you a few brushes from Walmart. No big deal. There you go. No big deal. All right. Are we good? Yep. Um... Okay, so we done said like and share us, and I think we I think we went over everything that we wanted to go over. Um, don't know yet what we're doing tomorrow night, so that uh, that may be coming. It'll be, it'll be a surprise, yeah. Yeah. I don't know. We actually may do it during the day because we're going to Atrox tomorrow night. Hello. Whoop, whoop. Come on, Brittany and Jeremy, I gotta go with us. Um, yeah, I've been waiting on that one for a while. Mm -hmm. Yep. Oh, and by the way, please. If you haven't watched our other videos from this month, because we're doing 31 days live in October, just go, go back and watch the first couple, because, uh, you know. They're a hot mess. Yeah, it's going to get <laughs> way crazy. Crazy, crazy. Whoop, whoop. Okay, guys, so y'all have a good night, and we love y'all. Bye-bye.